So we went to town to try and buy gear, only to find that uh, our people were, our elves were detained. And uh, we are being led to the Grand Wizard's Tower. <sighs> oh, you've gone. <clears throat> How did the council react to the news of the demon treachery? Well, I'm afraid, as I expected, they refuse to acknowledge that the elves may not have attacked first. And that sort of makes us look like genocidal maniacs. I've had no luck with the forest elders either. Our two nations clearly w- dearly wish to be at war, it seems. How can we convince a people so determined to see what they want to see? Then you hear again, we're actually like playing with the, the idea that the absence of truth is evil. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like, all right, yeah, no. Like it's at least it, it at least holds to that theme. There's layer. Yeah. Do I need to speak to the council myself? The council is a lost cause. It is full of dying, greedy politicians who are only interested in their own personal glory. Rather than the actual good of the nation. I'm really excited that for this fuck, game. That's Yeah. What? I'm really excited for this game to take a libertarian turn. Mm. Mm. But don't forget you're a councilman too. I was a council member. As the Archwizard, I am no longer. Why? What happened? I was discharged from the council not too long ago. I am lucky not to be shackled in the dungeon as well. Any implication that the council is mistaken is considered treason, however true. So they're fascists. Shit, yeah. Ink. <laughs> what the fuck kind of council is a council where fellow council members can't bring, uh, like, new evidence and be like, Dear fellow council members, I believe we may have been in error. Like... Fascists. The answer is fascists. <clears throat> well, I can't say that that don't sound right for the Empire. They just toss you out on your bum if you so much look at them funny. Should use the word keister. I've said it before and I will say it again. Vigilance! Constant vigilance is the only way to survive in today's dark times. They've stripped me of my title to keep their ranks loyal. Unfortunately, they have made a grave mistake this time. It is Deckard Cain. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Actually, this isn't Deckard Cain. This is Grandpa Ryan. Well, here, yeah, they dishonor you and that's all you gotta say? They were just being vigilant? So how do we get the Empire on our side, if not through the Council? We must appeal to the army generals themselves. Bitch, we're staging a coup! There are two major figures in the Empire's military that, if swayed to our cause, could easily unite all of the soldiers under our banner as well. Well, who are they? Where will we find them? General Ashtray and the General Smell are two who we should seek. Sir Ashtray is the lower-ranking general, so we should approach him first, so he can get court-martialed by his senior when we... Wait wait a moment. Yes. Fine. Where is he now? That is difficult to say, since I'm no longer a man in power here in Grimoire. I do not have access to that information. Fortunately, I'm a spooky (laughs) wizard! So we have to do this the hard way. Saren does everything the hard way. I can say that Lord Ashtray and I fought Faust together in the Old War. Yeah, somewhere he's the lower ranking one? He was very young, but if there was one thing that was clear about him, it was that he was full of ideals. He was a passionate man who believed deeply in justice and fought for what is right without... Without him, we might not have defeated the demons. Game, what I want you to do here is have him be a cynical jerk. That's like, <clears throat> set an expectation, subvert the expectation. 
I know that if we show him that the elves are not his enemy, he will not lead a war against them. This is fact! Convince Ashtray. Alright. Show him the elves are not his enemy. How do we do that? The problem is, the elves consider the empire their enemy as it stands, so it can't be a simple thing to prove if both sides are still battling each other. Therein lies the dilemma. I mean, we have to think of something. We've no more time to waste. Oh, I've got your attention, Archwizard. May I speak about another matter concerning the war? I know you fought the demon Foster Lager in the old war, so you're the most knowledgeable source we on him we know. What do you wish to know? We need to prove that he's back from the dead or from the imprisonment. It's a little ambiguous because the elves. There's no more penetrators! <laughs> because the elves won't stop the war otherwise. What would you suggest? Foster Lager is comprised of an unrivaled suit of armor. What you may not know is that the armor requires all of the pieces to be gathered to summon Fost's spirit. Well, reassembling the armor will revive Foster Lager. That's a scary thought. You must know, however, that this armor is indestructible. The only way to keep him from being reanimated is to keep the pieces of a suit of armor away from each other. As all the security of this world has afforded, just keeping the parts separate, it is no great wonder he happens to walk again. Mind you, we used everything in our power to make sure the pieces were sealed away permanently. If the seals were permanent, then how could he possibly be alive? Paula Michaud was silent for a long moment, unable to admit that his magic might have failed. Thinking a wizard is wrong is punishable by... Foster Lager is a greater demon than we could have imagined. He is capable of tricking all of us, it seems. I do not know how else to bring him down, but at least our previous method worked for some time. An ambiguous amount of time, really. You must admit the world has been free of Foster <clears throat> Lager's existence for a while, thanks to the Arch Wizard. Well, I can't deny the service that the Archwizard and his team have given us, and they're due quite a bit of respect. But the matter now is how we prove that Forest Elders is alive again. If it only takes getting the pieces of the armor together again to reanimate him, then wherever they were stored must have been breached, right? We can prove that. Let me check my sock drawer. <laughs> Oh, that's an idea. We can go to one of the tombs where a piece of his armor is kept and see if it's missing. Are the elders going to come with us all the way there? <clears throat> Aye, that's not necessary. The party jumped and looked to the ceiling, clearly hearing Ray's voice. What? In the next moment they saw him drop to the floor, wiping his hands clean. Oh, he'd escaped in the imprisonment. Oh, yes. And was climbing in the rafters. Why are his hands dirty? The rafters are dirty. Merth can just use a power of farsight to share the el her eyes with the elders. Oh, what convenient power. How did you get in here? Trade secret, sorry. Merth? Hey, I do have the ability to let them see what I see. That's the best idea we've got. I thought we should do it. Does that sound good, Majesty? Very well. If that's the only way to convince your elven leaders to stop this war, then we'll rely on Apollo Michaud to show us where Fossama should be. <clears throat> In interest of stopping the bloodshed, I will not object. Otherwise, I would object, because I'm a racist. The pieces of Foster Lager were entombed in the mountains, so we will need to find one of them. Oh, sorry, Archwizard. I can tell you just right now that one tumor won't be enough to convince the elders. Apollo Michaud narrowed his eyes and gripped his staff tighter. If we must, we will travel to as many tombs as necessary. Totally will. I pray your elves regain their senses quickly as there are more important matters. 
No work is the official. It's not for me to decide. You didn't look at me that way. Let's find these tombs before this war destroys us all. Sounds great. I like that Loren is shifting to be like this, like just long suffering. I like that this one is just called Crypt 2, Crypt 3, Crypt 4, and Crypt 5. I like the one that's just Crypt. Crypt. Okay, can we go back to Grimoire and try to go shopping? Yeah, let's try that. Yes. Yes. All right. Show us that sweet gear. Okay. All right, so... Who do we care about equipping? We care about equipping our boy here. We want like a one-hander for him, right? Yeah, what, do we, what do we have right now? 1,000? 1, yeah, 1,300. 1,300. Okay, so can, not a ton. We can afford pretty much anything, though. But I think he already has... Yeah, what, what is he carrying? Can we see what he's carrying? Is it uh, well, we can see the comparison, right? So the red okay. numbers. Okay. So his sword does more damage than the best... Okay, so what about... Here. So uh, what about armor? Yeah. Um, nope. Minus eight defense. Nah, it goes faster. Helmet, nothing. Chain boots is a plus three. Gladiator's <clears> helmet is a plus two attack. I think we have the best gear that we can buy. Ooh. Plate shoulder pads. That seems legit. Yeah, why don't we get him the... Uh, Some nice fancy shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. And the uh, armor. The armor is plus three defense. Sure. Gives him a little bit of regeneration. Alright. Right. Uh, so, or do we want to check if anybody else can take advantage of his old stuff? Um, yeah, sure. We can leave her for right now. We can sell it whenever. Yeah. Alright. Loren, how do you feel about... No, that's what you're wearing. That's the same, yeah. How do we feel about it? I think we use medium. Well, we can use it. Oh, all right. Slows us down a bit, but yeah, we get a smacked around though. a little bit, and we are front lining. All right, cool. All right. Oh, so, well, belts, and we're not wearing any pants. And yeah, we're not even fully equipped. No, nobody is. Yeah. Horus. What the fuck is Horus? I don't know. We're just inventing... So I, I vote Dark Elves. All right, Dark Elves we, away. That's what we agreed on during the break. Yeah, all right, so let's murder some Dark Elves. Yeah, but no. But and then we'll, we'll go we'll chat go with there. them. That's Dark Elf healer. All right, well, that's... Oh, we forgot to rearrange our party. Oh, that's We're fine. Put we'll, we'll survive this party. round. Uh. Yeah, healers should stop healing. Yeah. Yeah. Arrowed. Arrowed. These people are not appreciably damaging us. Uh, oh, I was gonna bonk them on the head. Oh, now they're, they're buffed. Alright, well. What are elves weak to? Elves are weak to water and air. Seems pretty decent. 250 damage. Uh, elves are also weak to water. Goodbye. This one's a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Try this on for size. There we go. No more healers. All right. So now we just sort of wait until Draco's turn comes around again. And uh, we kill everyone. Uh, yep. Oh, actually, we should spread this out so we make sure that we do kill everyone. Rain of arrows. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Draco used to be fat spell, so I guess he goes slow. Yeah. Sure. Alright, Draco, murder right. everybody. Make everyone go away. 
Now you're all dead. Hooray! Hooray. Standard longsword. The party sword. wandered into the desert, searching for the Dark Elves' village for reasons they didn't even know. But it was on the map, so whatevs. It was mentioned last time. I can't remember what it is. Upon arriving in the desert town and seeing that it was completely inhabited by Dark Elves, Saren realized that Mirth was tense. She was walking into enemy territory. We should save our camp. Good idea. The last thing I wanted to have to do was do any of this again. Look at all these blue people! Oh, don't call them that, they're dark elves. Why are they living out here? Doesn't seem fun. Because they're new alone in the forest! Well, why not? They're elves, like the ones in the forest. Earth was quiet for a moment, looking straight ahead. What? No! They are different! Dark elves were carrying around armor and weapons. There were forest elves standing around and directing them. Wait, sorry, what? What? What are forest elves doing here? Mirth ran after one of the elves in charge. They recognized her and bowed. So it's super good that we got Mirth before coming here. Mm. Where are the dark elves armed? What is this? Oh, yeah, an el elf general voice. Um. Oh, he's got an elvish accent. Of Ooh. course. Oh. Haven't you heard? The elves have decided to grant amnesty to the Dark Elves and return to their service. Amnesty? Saren heard her tales of a secret, a certain sect of elves that had made deals with demons a long, long time ago, but he didn't believe that the forest elves still held it against their ancestors to this day. But that was coming to an end if what he just heard was true. An old blue elf approached the party. Decked out in heavy robes and a battle staff. I hope this guy's a fucking PC. Look at this guy. Look, Dude. look at, look, look, right in there, right in there. Oh, the abs. Oh, so many abs. <laughs> really high up, too. And maybe his, like, his pecs. Oh, yeah, like bottom of the pecs, top yeah. of the abs. Yeah. What, what I'm super into is that he is wearing exactly the same robes as the other healers that we fought earlier. With the, like, super open chest. And it's yeah. like, okay, that's just what they were. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Tobar. Welcome to my village, travelers. I'm Tobar. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, here. You have to fight as well. Tobar looked her hard in the eye. Ah, the druid mirth. I would have never thought you'd come to see... Uh, never thought to see your face here. There's no trees. This will end my people's exile. I'll fight war upon war. Well, that's just reckless, you ask me. No one asked you. He's not a PC. He's, he doesn't have a colored name. Yeah, no, you're right. We've made up our minds. All of us have. You'll die. Rather die than remain a pariah. It is his choice and we should respect it. Shut up. Sorry. Tobar's eyes lit up when he heard Apollo Michaud's voice. The Archwizard, here? Greetings, Tobiah, to Bayar. It has been a long time. Very long indeed. I did not expect to see a friendly human face at this time. What? Wait, what? You two know each other? Welcome to Jim presses the space bar and Ryan talks to himself. We fought in the old war together. Oh, that expression. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's so soft. Yes, it was you and me. An ashtray against a vile <laughs> demon. Vostelaga. Not as spry as I was in my youth, but I hope I can still remember some of the old druid magic. Ashtray, you were friends of General Ashtray? Oh, very much so. His eyes dimmed as if he were recalling memories, because... He was probably recalling memories. Yeah. I found him in the orcish wastes, ambushed by many orcs. He was naive and headstrong, but I liked that about him. Someone wrote that sentence. Then we kissed. Like, unless... Unless there, this is a fucking game generally generated by a neural net. Someone wrote, I found him in the orcish wastes, ambushed by many orcs. Oh, no, they didn't. No. Do you know what they did? Because, like, that's not a sentence a human would write. 
Uh, oh, they put in the names after? Yeah, they did a find replace. Uh, yep. That's how you get a sentence like that. <clears throat> yep. We found him in the location number thir- like 13. Find replace, location 13, Orcish Wastes. Uh, yep, yep. Because, like, no human being reads that sentence and is like, this is a great sentence. Ship it. But times have changed. Tovar gripped his battle staff with dread. So, how could it be so difficult to convince a man attacking the elves to stop if he was once close friends with one? Maybe it's not so hard. Perhaps we should remind Sir Ashtray of the good deeds of the elves. Then it's settled to General Ashtray. Also, to our Catherine from leaving, but couldn't speak his mind right away. What is it, Desert Elf? You may tell us. My son, Mes- Mesfit, he is missing. I believe it's pronounced Mesfe. Mesfe? Sure. What? Uh, okay. I don't fucking know. <laughs> My son, Misfit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Several party members gasp at the news. <gasps> We've never heard of this boy! Sir, how could that be? Yeah, strictly armed to keep him under surveillance. I have the outside He is knowledge. the DLC. He is, he is one of the DLC characters, yes. He was, I promise you. The elves keep him in isolation and it have been severely injured in his escape. I did not think my son was capable of this. I'm super excited to meet this character. Excellent! Looks like I'll be hunting one, hunting him once more. How dare you? Mirth arranged for him to be pardoned for his crimes. Hey, it's not your charge anymore. The decisions on how to deal with him aren't yours alone. Please do not kill him. I beg you. He's a good boy. He just does a bit of murder and now and then. Hey! If he's genuinely a threat to anyone, we can of let him live. You must understand demons cannot be allowed to roam free. Who is Misfit? Why is this a problem? I, I, and how sick are how, his abs? How does he sell so many t-shirts? That's a rogue dark elf that terrorized forest elves. That's, that's, so he's a rogue dark elf that's different from like a dark elf rogue, which is a class base. Uh, and rogue in the sense that he's, he's gone rogue, if you will. Uh, anyway, we were to assassinate him. She looked over at Ray, who sighed in exasperation. <sighs> we, we've decided that that's not maybe the best way to seek peace with the dark elves. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I told the council. And the council was like, are you sure we're gonna kill him? And I was like, well, if you want peace, well, maybe it shouldn't just go around shooting their kids. And they were like, really? And I was like, no shit. That was a mistake. Oh. You have no compassion. If I'm compassionless, then what do you call your son? There is no word yet for how low he has sunk. That, yeah, that sentence is a thing that happened to everyone there, too. I, I am proud that I got that out in one try. Yeah. <laughs> Settle your bloodlust. I will not tolerate it further. I For, like... Go ahead. Forgive me if I don't show respect for demon sympathizers. I like that Lor- Loren has, has shifted gears to, like, she's just like, let's just get this fucking done. Please, thank you. Please, everyone, shut up. Her her permanent state is for fuck's sake. Yeah, like it's much better than the first bit of the game. I gotta admit. Yeah. What are you claiming? Ray, the dark elf misfit has made a deal with the demons and compromised his blood. He's working with the demons to destroy the forest. <clears throat> Get a little crackly there. No, no. I cannot excuse Misfit's crime for dealing with demons. But he's not in league with them. He's He was driven to this. He told me how he felt trapped and powerless over our situation in the desert. 
He only wanted to help. This is like the best writing in this whole game. I've been waiting for news of his death, but none has come. If he's alive, I need to know it. I know only that he was speaking of the Cyclops before he managed to escape from my guardsmen. Before he... He's not an evil person. The demon inside him. That's not Misfit. That's not my son. So now, now we're wandering into like like mental health issues. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get there. The demon inside him that's not misfit is my Marilyn Manson shitty nineties cover band. Hmm. We understand, but know that he if if he is dangerous, he will be treated with the same hospitality that I give to any demon. Which admittedly is more than that that I extend to slaves. It's sort of a, a, a pyramid style rank. Re really, it's. It, Saren, show him the chart. <laughs> yes, mistress. Tobar's eyes darkened with the possibility. I suppose now there is some hope that he may still live rather than none. I will cherish it in the time that you are gone. Find out where Mesfit is. Reward, 25 XP. Cyclops. Cyclopes. Let's do it. Wait, is, is there normally any yelling in there? Oh, fuck. We didn't change the party. Uh, and no, there isn't. <laughs> um, the party traveled to the last known hunting grounds of the Cyclopes. Um, maybe it's Cyclopes. I'm okay with that. Yeah, like using Ray's tracking skills and his thorough knowledge of Misfit, they were able to confirm exactly where he was headed. They wandered into a cam canyon and stopped when they saw a frightening cyclops in the distance. It was too late to leave unnoticed. The monster stood up and looked right at them. I, I d -d -d don't like this at all. Oh, we've seen many like him. But even Lorenz's courage faltered as she felt the ground shake with each shake with each step of the Cyclops as he advanced toward the party. Uh, be careful. I'm helpful. The Cyclops suddenly charged the party with an aggressive roar, as opposed to like a seductive, so, like a passive. Then a mightier roar stopped the Cyclops in its tracks. It looked around in confusion. A beast sprang out of nowhere and attacked the Cyclops. The whole party stumbled back. Cyclops, oh, I'm really excited for this silhouette. It whined in pain and ran in the opposite direction. His attacker did not chase him. Who is everything oh I god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he's so beautiful! He is so beautiful! By the moon. We're romancing this man? We are romancing every part of this man. So now we have Fenris. The beast looked like between a mix of demon and dark elf. Could this be? No, we... Yay! This is this is Bishon and Vampire. It's not even Fenris. This is He suddenly faced the party, demonic eyes pulsing, fanged teeth bared, and dripping blood from his recent attack. Vincent. Fine Abzi Vincent. Vincent? Abs Vincent, you think? I see. He's got say, a, he's got a say... demon in him. Mm, yeah, no, you're right. And the little half cape. The yeah, little half cape. It's totally Vincent. Look at what's his. Oh, he's got both hands in. Oh well, yeah, we'll see. Mushfet. Gotcha. Ray cocked his crossbow and aimed it right at the dark elf's head. That's not what you do with a crossbow. Crossbow. You don't cock crossbows. No, that's not. That's, that's not, not a thing. Maybe he's like cocked it, like a little bit, like. like sideways. Like... <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought that would be cool. Let me just, let me just stay still, please. Stare and sheath the sword and rest of Ward Misfit. He's wearing sleeves that don't attach to anything. <laughs> no, they attach under the mantle. <gasps> but like, so I will point out one of two things. One, dealing with demons makes you dress like this, or this is elvish prison garb. I am happy with both of those possibilities. Right? He didn't stop and confronted the demonic elf directly. He growled at him in a mixture of primal instinct and recognition. What? 
So I punched Misfit directly in the face. <laughs> you little pout! Oh, you little pout! He's, oh, he's, got, he's a tiny <laughs> pout! The entire group gasped as Misfit reeled back with a snap of his teeth. What's wrong with you? Your father thinks you're dead. You keep breaking his heart and ruining everything the Dark Elves are fighting for. You hurt your own brothers escaping your isolation, and for what? You're just roaming around out here. This is... We're being attacked by a demon, and you're lecturing him like his mom. Yeah. Theron's gone full mom. I think it's time you stopped being so selfish. So mom! <clears throat> Misfits breathing unfurled in low growls as he scowled at Theron and his words. Loren was on edge, afraid for her companion's life. No, no, go back. Wait, it does dress you like that! <laughs> oh my, oh. Slowly, the Dark Elf's breathing and form both returned to normal. The color of his eyes returned and his beastly features subsided. And Saren's like, no, no, go back. Go, uh, go no, back I, to the other one. The other I, one was better. This one's good. I don't want to say that it's not good. But the other one. Yeah. Like... Yeah, he's even got the, like, Vincent shape-shifting thing. Yeah. He was finally only looking at Saren with a hard gaze. There. That's better. A hand on Saren's arm pulled him away from Misfit. Mirth took him by the hand and pleaded with Misfit with her eyes not to harm him. Your terror ends now. Misfit was suddenly very afraid at the sight of Loren's ancient sword. Did we equip the Ember Blade, by the way? I'm not positive we have. Let's, let's just take a look at that. We did! Good. Yes. Right, and she is inexplicably, inexplicably a two-weapon specialist in a game designed in which she is going to hold a holy sword forever in one hand. I feel like that's the idea, so that you get your other your, your other sword can be whatever you want. Guess. So you decided what to kill him. He is the very enemy we are trying to eliminate. The he's, demon should give, be given no quarter. He's got his little pal. Isn't he your best friend's son? Yeah. Right. Like. Like. He's a little pouty. He hasn't said, like, anything. No. But he's not a demon. He's only a dark elf who's been corrupted. I, that, that, fine. Good. Good Good on you. Good on you, Saren, for seeing nuance. Which was his own choice, mind you. He asked for this. No! <laughs> Everyone was startled to hear his normal voice. I didn't ask for this! Please, no. 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 <laughs> no? We're just we are right. Because we need to romance that six-pack. <laughs> and we cannot romance Mickey Mouse! I think that we can! Oh, God. Oh, God. Next one's <laughs> Kermit. Whoever, whoever no. the next person is, no, I am no. voicing as Kermit. That is... <laughs> this is going to go full Muppet show. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll think of something else. You have some sort of demon disease. Uh, are you contagious? Christian Bale. Oh my God, that is perfect. Yeah, that's brilliant. She said I'd be given power, and I had the no ability to say no. <laughs> Sorry, it's not Christian Bale, Batman. That is. Uh, that's Pete Holmes. That's Batman. Pete Holmes. Batman. I don't care. All right, all right. It's. I'm not, okay. I, don't, I, I will admit to 100 percent preferring Pete Holmes Batman to Christian Bale. Uh, to Christian Bale Batman. Yeah, not get a harsher groove. Just want to make sure you're making yeah, a yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah. All right. Lorenz's sword shook as if she wanted to believe him, but she was still torn. They're he, so pouty. He's a, but he is a demon. He was not born in Everburn. He's. Only part of him is corrupted, and a part that can obviously be tamed. Smash cut mm. to us taming that. <laughs> Karen looked over at Saren with interest. Don't speak of me as if I'm not here. 
You won't be here. Your life is in our hands if you've forgotten. Mesfet's breathing started to quicken in response to the threat. Loren, no. Lower your sword. You're stirring the demon inside of him, and that is something only I can do. Sarah wanted to see if Misfit could reject his demon side, because if he could, he could be redeemed. Misfit stared at them all for a long moment. God the entire group it. waited on edge. What? Oh, the, the long moment since, like... Oh, yeah. I am silent for a long moment. I am quiet for a long moment. The I entire see. group waited on edge to see which form he would take. But he suddenly bolted away from them. He ran a, quickly across the sands to escape. I got him! Right, he shot at him, but Misfit was running with demon speed. They tried to catch up with him, but it was only a matter of time before they lost him completely. The party slowed to a halt and caught their breath. Here. Oh, sorry, I was trying to come up with a good cover band for demon speed. It was, ah. like, maybe, uh, Dragon Force and, uh... What? I, and that's the problem. It's not Anthrax. What is the name of the band that I'm trying to think of? That is Slayer. Slayer. That works fine. Yeah. Dragon Force Slayer Super uh, Super Group. Fair. Um, he he has disappeared. You're correct, Rich. He's not Adam Jensen. Adam, he, Adam Jensen didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mis, Misfit asked for it. <clears throat> oh, blast him. Not as easy as it looks, is it? He has an unfair advantage. We need to hunt him down. Saren heard something to his side. It could have easily been an animal, but his intuition hinted at something more. With the party deep in conversation, he crept toward the large rocks nearby. The rustling was heard again, so he darted behind the boulders. Pass the voice. Saren was suddenly dragged to his, down to the ground and his mouth covered. By another mouth. Hot. Am I a demon? Or am I an elf? This was voice was hoarse. And his hand, uh, <laughs> we nailed it! Cannon! And his hand was shaking. Yet when Saren found his eyes, they were as sharp as swords. Saren pried his hands from his mouth and matched those eyes then. I see an elf. He seemed to calm. They stared at each other, the hot sand burning their skin. Finally, he looked down to tend to an arrow stuck to his leg. He ripped it from his skin without a second thought. Stop. Let me. Saren used his healing magic on Mesfit, and the arrow wound closed. After it was attended to, they were enveloped by silence once again. It was clear that Mesfit could easily escape again, and would. I can't let you leave. Then kill me. Saren swallowed. No. Without being threatened, his demon side wasn't claiming him, so he seemed completely normal. At least as much as any trouble so could be. It didn't feel like the right thing to do to kill him, not when a loved one so dearly wanted him home. You will go back to Tor Bear, and you'll do as he says. Not yet. Why not? I have to find out who killed my parents. T Torbar, I, I'm not going to get into this. Please go on. I'm not done. Yeah. Done with what? Saren could hear his name being called now that they'd noticed he was gone. I must kill him. I have to have his head. What, uh, who? He has Saren hostage. Loren and the rest of the members crowded into the, around the rocks. Amukiki subdued and held Misfit, while Ray kept him in check with his crossbow. These guys are actually cooperating. Yeah, no, good job. No, wait. Misfit growled, tempting his demon instincts. Put away your weapons. His demon blood is triggered from self-preservation. Don't threaten him. Are you still negotiating with this filth? We've decided to kill him. He said he'll go back to Torbe Tobear if it's the he just one thing first, right down the misfit. Are you okay? Nope, that was a minor stroke. Let us move on. Emokiki's grip loosened so he could talk. 
Drabzak! Let me kill Drabzak, and I'll return to the desert. Oh, who the fuck is Drabzak? Bietan? That is a bounty for a two-headed ogre that's been terrorizing trade routes. How this dark elf knows of that or why I would seek to fulfill it, I cannot say. Tell us. Mel looked to Misfit for an answer. Sport. That was all he said. It took everyone a long time to process it. Fair. You mean you're hunting him for fun? Not for fun, because he needs to. When a demon decides on taking blood, they must have it. Ah, it seems as if we need so to satisfy something out of his control. We wrote both of these <laughs> lines depending on who you had in your party at the time. It is likely the demon's blood to blame. Also that one! If we help you kill Dromzak, you'll be satisfied? You'll see your father? That's what nodded with effort. Dude, become like bounty hunters? That's not, no, that's not, I'm not super into that, dude. But I bet I could get, get, but I bet the gold will be really good if we get the bounty. We should kill Misfit, but still go hunt down the Etten anyway. It sounds fun. <laughs> First off, quiet. Second off, no. Tobor asked us for a son, not a corpse. We'll do what he wants and then take him back where he belongs. Acquired Mesfit's personal quest. Kill the Etten Dromzak. Saren was relieved that his mistress had made such a compassionate decision. Secretly, Mesfit would be too. The Dark Elf was kept under high guard. Saren shared responsibility with Ray to keep him in check. With a promise to hunt down Dromzak, Mesfit was obedient with the hopes to finally quench his bloodlust. 